Courtney Rebar with us here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, you did it, you and your teammates, uh, a state champion. Mm-hmm. Talk about the run for this team. It was definitely exciting, and I think we all knew we could do it. It was just how. Um, it was definitely very anxious, and like we were just up the whole time. I remember uh, the game before the state championship, we were all so excited. We were like just screaming so loud and jumping on each other. It was just very fun. Come from a very driven sports family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about, like, you know, the quote unquote insanity of the rebars with sports. Um, you know, you just kind of take it all in, like, hey, this is who we are. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's kind of like a, a relief knowing that, um, like, my whole family is very athletic and um, I can go to them when I need help with something. Um, my dad has been very hard on me my whole life, but it has made me accomplish a lot of things. And it's also good because my mom is more of the, it's okay, like, he's he just wants you to get better. Got a good balance. Uh-huh. And then my siblings are very, you got a core, like, you can do it. They're very, very, like, proud of me, and I'm proud of them. Awesome. Well, uh, let's talk about Coach Piercy and the type of guy he is and, and what you liked about him as a coach. He's definitely more of the fun type of coach. He's um, the coach that is, he can be fun, but he can be serious at the same time. Um, he's a coach that you can always go to, like, if you need help, like, like even outside of softball. Um, he's, he's more of the, um, how can I word it? He's like the um, teenager type of coach, like the wants to be with us all the time, supporting us all the time, but when it comes to game time and practice time, it's focused. Flips the switch. Yep. How about for you when you talk about, you know, your dad being a little tough, your mom being, you know, who she is. Mm-hmm. How did you react as a leader on your team with the other teammates? Kind of because you got that balance at home. Like, <laughs> all right, what am I going to do to try to make uh-huh. sure I try to be a good leader? Uh-huh. So um, practices are more like I'm more, I wouldn't say strict, but I'm more focused. And I'm like, we got to get it done. We have to do it. Like, we got to get it done. Um, during games, I'm somewhat the same, and but I'm more of a like cheery type, and like we can do this. I'm always um, up in the dugout, and I like screaming with my teammates. Um, but yeah, like practices, I'm more on the serious side, but I also like to fool around too. Talk about uh, Kat. You know, she's a very confident young lady. But we we're both talking a little bit about Miranda. How you know she might get nervous about mm-hmm. like the weather. She was saying, but boy, when she's on the mound, <laughs> she's as confident as uh-huh. a cat. Um, Talk about that balance as as seniors, you know, how you guys all kind of worked it out. I think we both, well, all four of us need it. Um, We need the confidence and we also need the nervousness. Um, I think it's it's kind of like when you are nervous, we're all humans. Like, we are all going to get nervous. Um, But the confidence part, I think it just comes with the game. Um, We also need to be humble, too. And I think all four of us do do that. Let's talk about the next step for you and, you know, athletics involved on that next level. Uh-huh. Um, I would be attending Bloomsburg University to uh, continue my uh, athletic career in soccer. Um, I'm going to be a goalkeeper down there, um, but it's going to be very fun. It's a new chapter. I've only been playing soccer since my sophomore year in high school, so it's it's new to me, and I think it's it's going to be really fun, especially with my sister out at Bucknell. She's only 30 minutes away, so she can help me. Um, whenever I'm only an hour away from home too, so my dad can come help me, my mom can come help me, and like the atmosphere out there is just very, very fun. Let's talk about you know picking a sport. Mm-hmm. Was that difficult? Was, was sports not playing sports an option at college? Were you like, you know what, I gotta just go do it? <laughs> um, it was definitely not an option. I, I really wanted to. I think it was. It's more easier for my parents because they could see me more playing games, um, and it also helps with the tuition part as well. Um, but no, ever since I was a kid, my dad like, you have to do a sport in college if you have to. And I, that's always been like my mindset, like I have to do it. But it was it was very hard picking a sport. And um, I'm gonna miss softball, but I think starting a new chapter in soccer would be a lot more fun. Well, congratulations, state champion, and uh, more to be written in the Rebar family. Good luck. Thank you.